All right, so we're going to talk about all things like E3, and over the past couple of days, we've had, of course, the conferences. Now the conferences are over, so we're going to talk about what stood out in each conference. And uh, first, we're going to be talking about Microsoft. And, uh, you know, we were talking about last year uh, how they needed to show up, you know, because last year right. they were missing. They were missing games. They were just, you know, they were all about the, what were we saying? Like, uh, yeah, this, <laughs> like, get this because this is like a toaster and <laughs> yeah, and, like a water purifier and it'll fold yeah. your laundry and all that stuff. And we're like, where are the games? You know, <laughs> right, right. It's kind of like they were trying to, they just lost their way a little bit. They kind of deterred from you know the gaming aspect and what actually made Xbox Xbox. So. Anyways, but that wasn't the case this year. That was not the case because they right out right out of the gate they announced, which is what we known it as Project Scorpio. Right now it's called the Xbox One X, and they announced it, and you know it's actually the smallest Xbox they've ever made, and also it comes out this year on November the seventh. Um, you know, and they showed off like, gosh, show they had over forty games, wow. and about half were exclusives. Okay, and we we talked about that some too, uh, how they were missing that uh, exclusivity. You know what I mean? Right. Like they didn't have like enough exclusives, and they just didn't have. I, I what I feel is the games, you know, the gaming lineup to really kind of compete with. Sony and kind of pull people more towards you know Xbox, and but with this with this uh, definitely this new system this new console and the games that they have coming out, uh, you know I don't care and may, if the price is four ninety nine, that's what's going to be at launch. It's four ninety nine, and uh, you know that's enough to be like, hey, take my money, you know. <laughs> Because this this uh, console really does cement them in play to take back over the console wars, and um, you know, and it's kind of like a gaming PC, man. I mean, really, I mean, it's the closest thing to a gaming PC that you can actually get. Uh, this thing has liquid cooling in it. Yeah, which is that's pretty amazing. For a yeah, console. a console that's with the, liquid cooling. I mean, and that only just tells me one thing. That GPU is packing a powerful punch, and it does with six teraflops, you know, uh, and it's, uh, I mean, it's just crazy, man. I just can't get over it. It's crazy. Finally, you know, a little bit of a sense of PC gaming has finally came to console. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's going to be really awesome, too, and like we were saying, uh, uh, good on them to uh, show the tech specs of the new system but not to focus it on things that are gimmicky or things that are trendy or things that appeal to maybe a niche audience, but instead, uh, you know, focus on having specs and hardware to play great games and then showing people those great games, especially because they're exclusives. I mean, that's, uh, that's a pretty big deal. Right, right. And the, one of the biggest ones that, uh, one of the biggest games that, I mean, it's going to be a launch exclusive, meaning that, it's going to be on the Xbox One X first before it comes to any other platform. But the biggest, uh, one of the biggest games that's on PC right now is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and that's actually right. coming to you know the Xbox One X at launch. That's a launch title, which is huge. That's great. 